Hey guys, welcome once again to the One Coin Only Arcade Challenge. It's always great to have you here, and as always, we're taking a classic arcade game, and we're going to see how long we can last off one coin, or one credit, if you will. And today we have G-Lock Air Battle by Sega. This came out in 1990, and uh, I suppose in a way this is also a spiritual successor to Afterburner. So that, that being said, we're going to insert our coin, and uh, we're going to start a game now. We just picked beginner mode by accident, but that's okay. I suppose it doesn't matter. I'm a beginner. And uh, this is a lot like Afterburner, after all it was brought out by the same company. Uh, they've just done some things to improve the graphics and the gameplay, which you'll see for yourselves now. Uh, so let's have some fun and see how we go. Now, the controls do get a little bit different uh, depending on what game mode you use. Uh, I think once you use medium or hard, you can use uh, certain controls to help you thrust and do other things as well. Because we're playing beginner, all we need to use today is our cannons and our missiles. Uh, so we're keeping it nice and simple for this video, and uh, the controls are great in this game. I know you're supposed to actually be using this sort of in a cockpit or with a flight simulator with a proper joystick, uh, but even using a gamepad here, the controls are incredibly nice and, and feel better to play than what Afterburner did in my honest opinion. So uh, everything is really, really smooth here, the combat's fun. Uh, you're supposed to, you're encouraged to use missiles in this game. Uh, I think you've got three a level, but I just love using this cannon even. I feel like it really hits hard, and it's really fun to shoot down enemies. Now, as you can see, you can have a look at this interface, guys, and you're given a quota of the amount of uh, ships, or planes, rather, to shoot down before you finish a level. You've got a time limit to do it in, as you can see. And, uh, oh no, you've got more than three missiles. There you go, the big missiles must mean ten, just like in some games. Okay, well, I'm learning things as I go along now. So you've got a certain time limit, as you can see here, a quota of enemies to shoot down, and uh, we're on mission three now. It's going to gradually just get harder and harder and harder, obviously, as we go along. I absolutely love the graphics in this. Uh, the terrain changes with every level, just like an afterburner, and you're also flying in all different times of the day, too, which is a real treat. We've got kind of like either a sunrise or a sunset here. I think the graphics are absolutely amazing, and I uh, always really appreciated uh, Sega's 3D technology in the early 90s. They were definitely ahead of their game compared to a lot of other companies at the time. And uh, we live to fight another day here, which is quite lucky. I think you get unlimited respawns as long as you manage to clear every everyone before the time runs out, so that suits me just fine. We've got another cool looking stage here. We're flying in some kind of canyon. And uh, we only got to shoot six this time. Oh crap, how did I crash there? Someone must have shot me from behind. Oh, and uh, you gotta be careful not to do a tailspin. Like, there's no margin for error. If you accidentally press uh, the directional stick in the wrong way, you will barrel roll. Um, and now I know it sounds a little bit like a contradiction because I said the controls are good. They are. Uh, you just gotta be careful where you're pressing. That's all. Because when you you are doing things right, the ship uh, moves very gracefully. And uh, shit, we're almost out. Uh, looks like it's game over, short and sweet. Well guys, this is G-Lock Air Battle. It's a fun arcade experience. If you're after games like Afterburner, well, I'd highly recommend this. And as always guys, if you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us. We'll see you next time.